Hey guys, right now I'm sitting in a boat in the middle of a lake in the middle of southern Peru in a place called Huacachina with my friend Nico. Got here about 5 in the morning, got a hostel, got a little rest, and now we're here to explore. We got some really cool things coming up today. So that's where we're going, up all the way up there for the dunes, and you can see a little solitary guy waving to us right there. Well, how does he see us? One of the things I always liked about coming to Peru when I was little and I still like now is that people don't really expect that I speak Spanish so I can understand everything they're saying about me, which a lot of times is fine, but it's still pretty funny. <laughs> it wasn't the best idea to wear sandals, was it, Nika? Actually, you know, it feels kind of nice. It's like I'm at the beach. That is where we're going. It says, I love you. I'm starting to see why they use sand buggies. I don't know if we made the right choice doing this, but hey, look. There, really cool sand pyramid. Randomly, in the middle. So we made it to the top of our first dune. So we came down this road, went all the way here. Then came all the way around, around the mountain, and that's where we are now. That is our hospital right there. We are heading down the dune now to get a little food, a little drink before the big dune ride. This cool little wall in the middle of this little village. All these famous people on there. Nick's trying off some new hats. You know, it's new, but I think I could get used to it. <laughs> So growing up in a Peruvian household, there were two big things that were always a huge deal when my grandma would bring them home from Peru. One of them that I just got is Doña Pepa, like this. In middle school, me and my twin brother would bring them to the cafeteria and people would buy them from us. Number two is Inca Cola. It's like a really sweet soda. Kind of tastes like bubble gum. And I want to introduce you guys to Maite and Leah. Mi nombre es Maite. Con mi hija Leah estoy aquí. Soy parte de la selva del Perú. Pucalpa, Iquito, Taraposo, si algún día viene. Mira, ahí. Te amo y buenas tardes. Gracias. She's a natural, right? <laughs> So that was Maite, just uh, we stopped in there to get some chocolate and started talking to her. What's cool is that she's actually 22 also, just like me and Nico here. So it's kind of cool to see like completely different perspective from her side of things. And uh, she, I don't think she mentioned it, but she's actually um, going back to school to become a chef. So um, hopefully that happens and I think she might be watching this. So hi Maite, hi Leah, great to meet you guys. Nick's a little sad because we came here earlier and there were some guys playing soccer here. Now there's no one to be found. Just gonna have to wait until some people show up, I guess. All the way from Argentina, this is Cynthia Yande. They're traveling from Argentina to Alaska in four years and they're on their first year. Nosotros arrancamos de Buenos Aires el 27 de mayo del 2015 y la gente ayuda mucho. Sí. Eh, nos invitan a hostels o a almorzar o nos dan algunas moneditas. <laughs> so this is where they sleep 
and their studio and everything else <laughs> all in the back in the car. <laughs> if you guys want to follow their journey, you can check out their Facebook right there. Has mandado un buggy azul con para para otra, Uh, nervous, but yes. How about you? Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready. Ready. <laughs> Nick's about to go on his first one. It's your balance. Good luck. <laughs> Legs open. <laughs> so here's Stefano. He's about to do his first hill down on the sandboard. <laughs> here in the lake and now we're ending the top of sand dune. We had some really cool sandboarding, met a lot of cool people and tomorrow we're going to a new place. Yeah. 